Hi everyone, my name is Claire, and today we are going to be talking about capillary action. So first we're going to talk about just what is capillary action, and capillary action is just water moving up against gravity, and we know that normally gravity goes down, so obviously the water is going to be going up, and capillary action happens because of little forces between the molecules in the liquid and the molecules in the solid, and these... Um, these interactions are called intermolecular forces. And then on the left here, you can see a diagram of what we're talking about when we're talking about capillary action. It's just that water moving up against gravity. And next, we're going to talk about cohesion and adhesion, which are some of the components of capillary action. So cohesion is when two different molecule, water molecules are multiple, but in this photo too. Um, when these water molecules stick together. And then adhesion is when water molecules stick to other surfaces, such as what we saw in the last slide, um, like the tube. And both of these components are very important for capillary action. So just make sure to remember cohesion is water molecules sticking together and adhesion is water molecules sticking to other surfaces. So you might be wondering, why does this even matter? So we're going to talk about some examples of capillary action. So one big example is plants absorbing water through their roots and their stems. Capillary action plays a very crucial role in the movement of water within plants. Water is absorbed by the roots and then transported all the way up to the um, leaves. And this process is super important because this is how plants distribute water and nutrients, which they both need a lot. <laughs> Then another example is just placing a straw into a glass of water. The water inside the straw will just rise a little bit higher, as you can see in that photo, and this is due to capillary action. Um, another example is the ink in a pen. Capillary action is what allows the ink to flow from the reservoir where the ink is stored to the tip, and this is why you're able to have like a smooth and consistent writing. And then another example is just blood flow in the human body. Um, Capillary action is super important to circulate blood in our body because blood actually moves through capillaries, so it can kind of give you a little hint there. Um, and this is super important for exchanging nutrients, gases, and waste products between blood and surrounding tissues. So capillary action is so important for life to be able to exist. And now we're just going to talk about how capillary action relates to our project for this year, which is called Oncurex. So Oncurex involves helping biomanufacture your solic acid, and your solic acid is naturally found in plants, um, and its role is helping prevent water loss. And then as we just learned, capillary action is essential um, in plants for water transport. And so this is how the two are related. So finally, we're just good into an experiment called walking water, and so now you can see that. Okay, so as you can see here, I have five cups, and three of them are filled with water, and then two of them are empty. And what I'm going to do is add some food coloring to the three cups that have water, and I chose red, yellow, and blue as my colors because that will make a really pretty color in the end. Um... <clears throat> And so what I'm doing is just adding the food coloring and stirring it up, as you can see in these videos. Um, yep. And then now what I'm going to do is take a paper towel and connect the um, all the cups together. And I'm making sure they're all touching each other. And I'm making sure that the paper towel is long enough to go from one cup into the other. Um, yeah, so you can just watch me fold those up. <coughs> And then, as you can see, the water is just climbing right up the paper towel due to the capillary action that we just talked about. And this is because of the combination of adhesion, which is when the water binds to the paper towel, and cohesion, which is when the water molecule that's in the paper towel bonds to another water molecule. And then that water molecule, through adhesion, bonds to the paper towel, and so forth. And then here you can just see what ends up happening to the paper towels and the water after some time. So this is what it looks like after five minutes. And then here's what it looks like after 15 minutes. As we can see, the, uh, the coloring has climbed up more. And then here is it after one hour. There's definitely a lot more and some of the water is even starting to go into the middle bases. And then finally, after two hours, quite a bit of water has mixed and made a beautiful color in the final vase. 
So this was a super cool experiment to showcase how capillary action works and how the water and food coloring will climb up the paper towel because of the small tube-like um, compartments inside of it. Thank you guys so much for joining me with this and bye-bye.